Okay, now we're going to compare the EQ section on the profile to the EQ section on the 24C. Here's the profile section, it's a four band parametric. The encoders go in this order frequency, Q, gain. Frequency, Q, gain times four. Let's dive in and see them. T turn up the gain, change the frequency, and then we're going to play with the EQ a little bit. The Q will take us between parametric and shelf as well. At the top end, the gain up there, frequency, again the Q, and that will take us between parametric and shelf. Because it's a full four band parametric, we have the two mid bands as well. Each of the four bands is 20k to 20 hertz. High pass filter we have on the desk, but we have on a per channel basis. We have to select the high pass filter on the left hand side and change the value of each individual high pass filter on a per channel basis. Let's compare that to the EQ section on the S6L. It's a four band parametric going from left to right with low, low mid, high mid, and high. The encoders go in this order gain, frequency, Q, gain, frequency, Q times four. Let's turn the gain and the frequency and now the Q. As on the profile, the Q will take us between parametric and shelf. You can clearly see the value change in the OLED above each of the encoders in the EQ section. And on the top end, gain, frequency, Q. And again, the Q will take us between parametric and shelf. And you can see that changing in the OLED. Of course, as in the profiles, there's a full four band parametric. And then between the top and the bottom, we have two mid range bands. I'll just put the top and the bottom back to parametric so it's easier to see the next bit. Let's look at how we've improved the filters on the S6L. On this desk, we have two filters we have a high pass filter and a low pass filter. High pass filter is controlled here. There's a value you can see it changing really clearly in the window or to the right, as well as on the OLED above the encoder. Here's the low pass filter, a parameter we didn't have on the profile. Let's check out overall control in the EQ section. On office here, bypassing the whole EQ section. I can toggle the value of each band on and off by using the gains. Switching them back on now, that's the four bands on and off. If I want to default back to flat, I can do that individually on each band by holding down default and pressing the gains again of the four bands. Just switch them up so you can see. If I want to default the whole section, I hold down default and press the EQ switch. That takes the whole section to flat. Let's compare that to the S6L. On off is here for the EQ section. Each gain will bypass the individual bands. My low pass filter here, my high pass filter. If I want to default the EQ back to flat, I hold default and I can do each individual band of the four. Turn them back up so you can see. Hold down default again, and I can default the whole section by pressing the EQ and switch. I can simulate an analog EQ in the profile by pressing the switch in the software. Now I have shelves top and bottom and two fixed frequency range parametrics in the mids, low and high. Again, let's compare that to the S6L. In the S6L knob module, I can use the analog switch to toggle between the digital and analog versions of the EQ. So instead of having four full band parametrics, I have the simulation of the analog with its fixed shelves top and bottom and its fixed range parametrics in the two mid positions. This is the EQ section of the SXL. However, if I want to, I can customize the channel strip to look exactly like a profile EQ. Frequency at the bottom, gain at the top, Q to the left hand side. So now we have a profile style EQ section on the SXL.